That's something. All right. Well, uh, I would say today, and Bets, correct me if I'm wrong, it was deceivingly cold. I think you, you look outside. Nailing that. <laughs> Absolutely. Because you look outside, the sun's out, and you're like, oh, this is great. Nice. Go for a walk. Nice. And then you go outside, and you're like, all right, I'm going back in. <laughs> uh, we will see some warmer temperatures coming our way. Okay. I think that's a pretty fair statement to make. We might even get to see some sunshine occasionally, but there is a storm system that's coming our way for where uh, the start of the weekend that may complicate things. Clear skies continue for now, and that's a little bit of a problem because temperatures are going to crash crash light winds, clear skies, cold air. It's just going to get colder. So we have temperatures that will drop back into the low twenties by the midnight hour. We could even have some places that drop back into the upper teens, but I think this will be a bouncing effect. Those temperatures are going to come down and then they're going to start to rise pre dawn as we start to get some winds out of the, uh, the south that help us out. Temperatures are already in the twenties in Ashtabula. We're right to in the mid thirties in Mansfield, Dover, tropical Dover, still sitting at 40 degrees. Uh, but the winds are starting to switch around on us a little bit. We have a north wind right now, but notice that all of our little wind streams here are kind of emanating from a single point out over the lake. So high pressures in control. That's why we have this sunshine. The air is actually descending and spreading out. So as that north wind starts to back off tonight, that allows the coldest air in the atmosphere to settle down right to the surface. And that's why I think those temperatures are going to crash initially. Then that high moves out. We start to get some clouds coming in from the west and that'll help to pop the temperatures back up pre dawn. Those clouds are all coming ahead of our next storm system. We have not one but two. We have the first that's bringing the wintry side of things to areas of the Great Lakes and the Midwest and the other side is the wet one and that is going to head right up into the Buckeye State. I think the dividing line between the cold and the warm will lie just between Ohio and Michigan. So the battle continues, but I think they'll be on the losing end because I think the warm air should help to keep a lot of the snowy weather off to the north of us. That is why they have winter weather advisories north of the border, so to speak, into Michigan, Wisconsin and points farther to the west. So that's a really good indication as to where those snow impacts will be uh, most felt. Meanwhile, here locally in your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast, our temperatures drop back initially into the low teens. Daybreak temperatures likely to be in the mid and upper 20s. We will have wind that's coming out of the east and then eventually starts to switch around through the day. But you can see midday temperatures, mid 30s. Notice the wind is starting to pick up a little bit. We don't have any precipitation as of yet, but the clouds have filled in. We will finally start to see the rain moving in in mid afternoon to late afternoon. Now that dividing line we were talking about, right? Well, Lake Erie may play a little bit of a role in this, but for now it looks like most of us will be on the receiving end of the rain. We may have some wet snowflakes mixing in from time to time in areas farther to the east or high terrain areas too. But overnight we're expecting that to start to switch over to rain. The problem is late Friday night, the cold front slides through and right on the backside of that cold front, we may get belted with a quick hit of wet snow. Notice what time it is. This is two o'clock in the morning on Saturday, so most of us will be sleeping except the, the young uh, hot things that are going to be out and about. But the north wind then will really kick in for Saturday and we are anticipating dry conditions for Saturday morning but it's going to be chilly and that's going to set us up for a very cold Sunday too. Here's your union home mortgage forecast. 30s for Saturday is what we'll call it because I think pre dawn we'll have the warmer temperatures, but by Sunday afternoon, mid 40s, mostly sunny, not too shabby. Mid 60s back in the forecast on Monday. It's like spring wakes up for us. Spring like showers possible on Tuesday with cooler air, albeit a little seasonable for this time of the year, returning in the middle of next week.